Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. We have discussed almost all CSS selectors. We discussed tag selector, we discussed class selector, we discussed ID selector, we discussed group selector, we discussed combinator selector, we discussed child selector, adjacent sibling selector, we discussed CSS attribute selectors, we discussed CSS pseudo classes, we discussed CSS pseudo elements. We left with one more CSS selector which is very useful selector and that is universal selector star symbol indicates universal selector in css universal selector is used to target any html element on the page and apply styles on it one of the simplest syntax of universal selector is we write star symbol in flower bracket we write declaration list what this syntax helps us to do it helps us to target any HTML element on the page and apply styles on it. Before we proceed and see some example codes, you can see here I have default.html page with the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS Universal Selector. I have already opened default.html page in the Chrome and title is set to CSS Universal Selector. You can see that. I go to Notepad. Here in the body section, I am going to create one div closing div within that I create some paragraphs so here I say paragraph text closing p tag I'm going to copy this code paste it few times so I have pasted four times file save go to browser and refresh you can see that four times the paragraph text got displayed let me write some styles here so here I'm going to say style type equal to text or CSS then I say here closing style here I say div locate any div in this page apply some margin 5 pixel margin file save go to browser and refresh you can see the text is moved little bit to the right then next what I want is I want to apply border around the paragraphs all these paragraphs should have the border so what we do we write a code like this locate a paragraph in this page apply the border of 2px solid red semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that all paragraphs have the border set similarly I want to apply the border for this div element also I can use take help of uh, group selector so I say here div also should have the border 2px solid red right file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the div element has the border red border similarly what I want is I want to apply the border to the body also then I can use comma body here file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the body also has the red border I also want to apply to the HTML element so I say here HTML file save go to browser and refresh you can see that even the HTML document has the red border around it. I am using so many tags here you can see. If I have 100 HTML element then I have to write here all those HTML elements and then I say border to px solid red. Instead of writing like this we can simply write here star. Star indicates universal selector. This is the first syntax one of the example code I have written here star in flower bracket border 2px solid red what this code does it selects every html element on the page or it selects any html element on the page and applies 2px solid red border that is what we are going to see now here i have written star in flower bracket i have border 2px solid red i am telling to the browser locate any html element apply the border 2px solid red file save go to browser and refresh you can see that all of them have the red border if I want I can change here to maybe green to show that it is working file save go to browser and refresh you can see all of the elements are having the green border right that is how the universal selector is used universal selector is used to target every HTML element on the page and apply styles on all HTML elements on the page now what I want actually is I do not want to apply style to 
every HTML element. I want to apply styles to only these two paragraphs. So I have to use, take help of class attribute. So I say here class, I say first two is the class name. I copy this attribute, paste here. And then of course we can simply say here dot first first two. I am telling to the browser, locate any HTML element. If it has a class attribute value set to first two, apply the border to px solid green. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that only first two paragraphs are having the green border. Even if I write here star, it works. What is the meaning of star? Any HTML element, right? Universal selector it is. I am telling to the browser, locate any HTML element on this page. If it has the class attribute value set to first two, then apply the border to px solid green. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Let me show it is working properly. I can say here red, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that first two paragraphs are having the red border applied. Without writing this star also, the same meaning. Star is something like um, optional, you can think like that. Here I am telling star means any HTML element. Remember that. That is the next syntax I have explained. Star dot first two in flower bracket, I have border to px solid red. What I am telling to the browser or what this code does, it selects any HTML element which has the class attribute value set to first two, then apply the border to px solid red. Let's see one more example. Here I use the ID, I say container, C-O-N-T-A-I-N-E-R, container. I'm using the ID attribute to the div and I said ID value is container. Now what if I want to apply the border to this div element? Simply I can use locate any HTML element on this page. If it has the ID called as container, then apply the border to px solid red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div element has the red border applied. That is what I have here, the next syntax, star hash container in flower bracket border to px solid red. What this code does, it selects any HTML element which has the id attribute value set to container, simple thing. Now let's proceed and see something more. What if I want to apply style to every paragraph in this page, every paragraph in this page which is the direct child of the div element. Okay, yeah, we can write simply like this, right? I can say here div direct child p, then apply the border to px solid red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that all paragraphs which are the direct children of div are having the red border. Instead of that, simply if I say here star, what I am telling to the browser, locate any HTML element on this page. If it has the direct child p, then apply the border to px solid red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that it is working properly. If I sh change here, green, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see all paragraphs which are direct children of div are having the green border. What if I want to apply style to only first two paragraphs? I can simply say here, any HTML element, if it has the direct child called as p, if it has the class attribute value set to first two, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that only first two paragraphs, which are direct children of the div are having the green border. That is what I have explained here, star, greater than sign, p, in flower bracket, border to px solid red. We know that greater than sign indicates direct children. It selects any p element which is the direct child of any HTML element then apply the border to px solid red around it. I hope you guys are understanding the universal selector, how it is used, what's the purpose of it in CSS. Actually universal selector is used most of the time for normalization purpose. For example, if I remove these styles, let me remove these styles and say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is a margin around the paragraphs and uh, you might have some headings. Maybe I say here h1, h-e-a-d-i, 
heading text 1 closing h1 i can copy this paste it few times like that then i say here 2 3 4 5 6 here i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have 6 headings and 4 paragraphs let me remove these classes no problem i can remove this id also save go to browser and refresh you can see we have 6 headings and 4 paragraphs and we also know that there is a margin around the body if we need to remove the margin around the body all these headings and paragraphs we can write like this right i can say body comma h1 comma h2 comma h3 comma h4 comma h5 comma h6 comma every paragraph should not have any margin so i can say margin of zero pixels maybe we don't want any padding also padding of zero pixels go to file save go to browser and say refresh you can see that all elements are not having any margin now instead of writing like this so many elements we can simply use star i am telling to the browser select every html element on this page or any html element on this page apply the margin 0px padding 0px file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we are getting the same output that is how you can use the universal selector to target every html element and uh, normalize the information hope you guys have understood how we can use the universal selector what is the meaning of that how we can use that in our html document so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next video tutorial we get a lot of information on css for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial